Hi guys, welcome back to Metabox Tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you a way to create a submission form in Frontend and automatically show its data into a table in a post. It's a kind of cheat sheet. In the previous Black Friday events, my team was having a roundup of WordPress deals. We had to update information of over 150 deals into a post in just several days. At the first time, we manually updated one by one to a table in the post like this. Seems like so stupid. EU. Later, we used Google Sheet and embedded it in the post. The process was much better but the table looks quite not good. Do you think so? So it's time for our child, Metabox, to solve this problem. Note that you use Metabox to have the same kinds of submission form and cheat sheet for customer contacts, document or book items, tourist attractions, staff, partner, or students' information, and so on. And now, this is how I do it. I use these tools. First, and must have, it's the Metabox plugin, the framework to create custom post types and custom fields. The next are MB custom post types and custom taxonomies, Metabox builder, MB frontend submission, and MB views. They are all extensions of Metabox, so you can install Metabox AIO to get them in one place. In the free tab, you can see MB custom post types and custom taxonomies in a short name. It's to create custom post types and taxonomies as the name says. But in this tutorial, I use it to create a custom post type only. In the UI tab, here is Metabox Builder. It provides us with an intuitive UI to create custom fields. The last one, in the Frontend tab, here is MB Frontend Submission to show fields on the frontend. It's to show the submission form, and, MB Views to display fields value on the frontend. We use it to show data into a table in a post. They're all activated by the ticks here. I'm creating a new custom post type using MB Custom Post Types and Custom Taxonomies extension. Your new custom post type will appear in the admin menu. Let's create fields for the submission form. This is the UI which the Metabox Builder provides us. I want the deal name as well as its post title as the product name, so I set the ID of this field the same as the post title is. After having all the fields, go to the Settings tab of the field group, choose Location as Post Type and Deal to assign this field group to the post in this post type. Now, go to Create a New Deals Post. You can see that the fields show here, but, the product name field seems like missing. No, it is not. It's right here, in the title. I can input some deals information right now. Each deal information will be input into a post, like this. I want to create a submission form on the front end that allows my partners to input their deal information directly. So, I will show the fields on a page. Go to Custom Fields, you will see this. It's the short code of the field group. It's auto-generated by MB Frontend Submission. Copy it and paste to anywhere you want to put the submission form. If I leave the short code as default like this, the submission will be like this. Here are the fields I created, and these two fields are not, but they are default. I will remove them and add some advanced things to this form. Pay attention to the short code. This is the ID of the field group. This is to show the title and content fields. I'll delete it to remove the fields. Now, I'll add some more attributes to this short code. This is to enable Ajax loading. This is to set the post to draft status right after it is submitted because I want to censor the deal information before it is updated into the cheat sheet. This is Google reCAPTCHA to avoid spam. Remember to change these keys to your ones. If you want more attributes, go to the documentation. It has a list of all the addable attributes in a detailed instruction. Back to the shortcode. Let's see how my submission form displays. Here are the fields. And, here is the Google reCAPTCHA. Do you want to prettify this form? It's the show time of your best friend, CSS. Now, the form turns to a new appearance. Let's check how the form works. Suppose this is a deal.
Back to the deal post type. It's here and in the draft status. And all the information is saved in the fields. It works well so far. Let's move to the next step. In this step, we need to create a table for the cheat sheet. Then, get the data, I mean fields value, and put it into that table. It's time to use MB views. Go to views. Add this code. This is the custom query to get posts. The getting posts are deal. This attribute is for getting all the posts instead of 10 like default from WordPress. This is to set the order of the data by date. And, this is to set the latest submitted deal is in the end of the table. Here is the table, with the title of columns here. In this part, these are to get data from custom fields of posts. This is to number the rows. This is fields ID. And this. I set this view in a type of short code. Then you will see its short code here. Copy it. Now, insert the short code to my Black Friday post. Ta-da! Here is my cheat sheet. Well, you can see that the deals are displaying with the right order. I have a post in draft and it hasn't been displayed here. Let's publish it. And here it is. My cheat sheet works so well. What do you think about this? If you see it is helpful, like this video and subscribe to our channel for more upcoming tutorials. Bye.